So this guy here is going to help us getting the whole idea of what a hierarchy is. I'm going to be talking about naming in here, okay? I got my guy, you know, I got the, all the different parts that I created. Every single mesh, and we'll see also groups and subgroups that we create, needs to have a specific name that define what we're selecting. In this case, it will be the head, obviously. We cannot name this blah, 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 because nobody's going to know what blah, blah, blah is, okay? Even if they're looking at a head. So number name needs to be defined of what we're selecting, number one. Number two, we cannot have names, repeating names through a model. And we will see what we do now, because obviously we have two arms and two legs here. So we'll see what to do about that too. We're going to be creating, like I say, groups and subgroups to facilitate the placement of pivots, maybe in some of the models, maybe to allow people to select parts of the model and in an easy way or hide some of the parts of the model that's what we create groups and subgroups. So first thing in the outliner, like I said, these are what is called Maya names. Maya names, they don't go anywhere. You can need to double click on them and you can do head, for example. There are definitely, you can do this manually. There's definitely some tools out there. Studios are their own ones to rename. You can find some of them that you had to pay or contribute a little bit of money, like this one here that I got, you know, it's just a script. And you can just say, okay, you can just rename things right inside here. Like if I have, this is mostly if we have, it's also good if we have a lot of like different objects. Like if I have to name a hundred bolts in a tank, you know what I mean? So obviously I don't want to go one by one. In this case, well, might not look like, oh, this is a great tool. Now I can do that by hand. Oh, there's not that many pieces in here, obviously. So let's see, this will be body. We can do it here if we want. All right. So we can just rename there and it will go body. Let's do, let's use a case of padding in a second. So if I have, for example, these two shoes, or feet or whatever you want to call it, these two shoes. Shoe, and obviously we cannot have two shoes, you know? We have to tell my, uh, well, okay, you start, the first shoe will be shoe number one. So it starts with one, number one. Maybe you will have already something named before and you want to start on 15. Who knows, that's why they give you the option, right? But padding is normally the number of digits that you put after the name. Depends on the studio or depends of people, you know, we normally use four. You can be numbers or it can be letters. Mostly they're numbers. You just rename and you have shoe 001 and 002, I don't know. That way you don't repeat name, you know? You can have, this will be arm, and you can have that. You can also do left arm or right arm or right leg and left leg, all right? So we have that. And then this will be neck, all right? And this one, so see like the padding. Let's just do it here. All right, so we have our parts. Now, we need to create a hierarchy based on this. Again, first we name all the parts and then we do that. So I can group, for example, these two parts, the head on the neck, because I can put them in a group and I can rotate the neck with the head, for example. So I can do Control G to group, and you can see Maya creates a new group here. We'll go over those groups in a second. I'm gonna group these two together, obviously, Control G. These two together, Control G. Then even if I want, I have this, two groups of legs, I can make the two groups of the leg group, okay? And then finally, we can have, we select the whole body, arms, and the subgroups, and group that with, you know, with all the, all the parts of this uh, hierarchy will be under one main node. In this case, we will be uh, maybe like guy or something like that, whatever is the name of the model. So you cannot have things out here, obviously. You need to have your hierarchy, case with the body, the two arms. And as you can see here, we need to name also the groups. We cannot have group one or group four. This will be maybe head, okay? Let me see, we cannot have repeat, obviously. So let's call it something instead. Let's do head main. And as you can see, I use something that is called camel case. Some studios use it, some others not. When you have a name that has two, um, it's two parts, it's head and it's main, you don't name them like all capitals or uppercase or lowercase. You just do, the first word will be head, 
that will be your lowercase. Then you have the nest or the first letter of the second one will be capital and then the third will be uh, lowercase. So that way you differentiate between head and main. You can read it right away. If you have like a name that is really long and it's all, you know, capitals or it's all lowercase, it will be really hard to read all those different words. So putting like that M in there, you know, that will help. That's what's called kind of case and it's what we use normally in studios. The first Normally, the first word is always in lowercase, always. And then the next one is capital, and the rest, capital, and the rest, capital, and the rest. Okay? So this one would be legs, maybe main two. Oops. And then we have that. This will be, let's see, left, leg. And this will be right leg, and you can see you and you some oh oh that's an that's an O. So we right leg, you know, you can definitely with this way you can really separate and read this easier. So we have that, that so everything now has a unique name, and we have a hierarchy. Okay. Hierarchy, the best hierarchies are the ones that you can test, like for example, you, if I have a hand with fingers, okay? And then for fingers, I have the palm. And then from the palm, I have the forearm and then the upper arm, shoulder, and then I go up, right? So a good hierarchy for this will be one finger. First, we'll do the fingers. Then we will go up into the palm. So it will be a group of the fingers first. There's, then we will do another group of the group of the fingers with this palm. And then we will do the group of all these together with the forearm and then up. Why is that? Because through a hierarchy, we can just move across it really quick with the keyboard, with the arrows up and down. For example, if I select this piece here and I go up, I'm going to select the first group. If I go up again, I'm going to select the second group that is underneath. And if I go up again, we'll select the whole model. So that's the way I got it in the hierarchy. So imagine if we have fingers, hand, upper arm, lower arm, whatever, it will go up, 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 up. Just that way you can select pretty quick just with an arrow, you know, it will be the easy way to do it. The groups also, they don't just look pretty and they're easy to select. They also allow us to put pivots in some specific areas. What do I mean? So I have a right leg here, and now the pivot in that is right in the center. But, you know, depending on the studio, the riggers will tell you, oh, I want that pivot there. If it's a door, I want it in the hinges so I can open the door, obviously. All right? So in this being a leg, you know, they will want the pivot maybe in the center here for obvious reasons, the reasons being, this guy can kick. This piece here, the reason is to have the pivot, it will be better to have it like back there, just because this is the way this will work. 